it's time again for another video. Um, I don't, I don't actually know how to do these intros now to change it up from every other video. So if the intro is shitty. Sorry, I can't really help the intro being really shitty. I can't help my camera being laggy. It's becoming in a whole issue with uh, me not being able to edit my stuff because well, I have no editing software and I've tried to get editing software, um, but it's too expensive. Um, let's go right into this ranking. Yes, it, this is a ranking. I'm going to be ranking the band Dope today. Um, if you don't know, Dope has a long, like, long history. First album was 1999. Last album was 2016. They have six studio albums. They don't really release that often. They did in the early days, but now they go with nine years without releasing, which is a really long time. Um, but let's go right into it. Uh, at number six, or my least favorite album, it is a seven out of ten, is the Felons and Revolutionaries' first album. This copy is a little bit damaged, of course. Uh, Pig Society, Debonair, the uh, Fuck the Police cover on this it's pretty good it's a hidden track on it too everything sucks sick shit life there's a lot of good songs on here it's it's just the tone is kind of off it's just kind of the new metal tone for that era that like slipknot and other bands were doing then their next album which that which is life had a very different tone to it. See that's why this one's at number six. Um number five is their uh two thousand five, I think. Two thousand five. American Empathy. Um this one's a nine out of ten. It jumps from a seven out of ten to a nine out of ten. Um I'm back, survive, no way out, always bastard, sex machine, full for more years, revolution, um, fuck the world, I wish I was the president, a lot of cool songs on here, plus a, uh, fuck the police, 2005 studio version, which is cool, bitch, alternative version, and then burn, which is off their second album, or off their third album, the one that came out right before this one, they just remastered it and redid it for this, um, the thing is with the, this album, it's just not a, it's just, the other albums are a little bit better than it. It's still a fun listen, it's always a fun listen, I have the hoodie for this. It's always been one of my favorite bands since I was a kid. Um, I don't feel like they're, I feel like they're actually metal new metal and not rap new metal. There's like a big, really big difference with this band and mostly other bands of that time. Um, so let's go into number four. Number four is Life, previously mentioned. Um, Take Your Best Shot, Now or Never, Nothing Why, Stop, Thanks for Nothing, Die Motherfucker Die, it's classic, What About... Move it, Jenny's crying, with or without you, crazy slipping away in March of Hope. I used to really just like half of this album. Now that I've listened to it in full and I'm older, I understand a lot of the themes in this album and I really like it. Um, yeah, I've seen them live, it was my first real concert. Um, Number three um, is, well, censored cover, I'm going to block this out here, is Blood Money Part 1. Where's Part 2? I don't know. Um, intro, th and, then, and this is the newest one. So, Intro, Confessions of Felon, of a Felon, Blood Money. Shouldn't should have known better. Lexapro, hold on, 1999. Razor blade, butterfly, drug music, a new low, hypocrite, exhale, end of the world, selfish, numb, and violet as the bonus track. 
This is a damn good album. It's a fun listen every time. The song Blood Money is amazingly heavy. Just everything about this band, everything about their music has always been good. Um, let's go into number two. Number two is Dope's Group Therapy. Had a really good tone on this album. Just like uh, Blood Money Part 1, this album had a really good tone to it. Um, Bring It On is one of my favorite songs. Motivation, Falling Away, Solo, Easier, Burn, Today is the Day. This band, like, when I was like going through that whole depression phase, and just the whole fuck the world type, type thing, which I'm still in right now. I'm still a part of, I'm still kind of the thinker of fuck the world, what the fuck does the world have to do with me? This album kind of gives it. You got Now Is The Time, another good one. Um, it's everything about this album is amazing. Definitely check this band out if you haven't already, or don't know them, or have heard of them and not listened to their music ever. It is definitely worth your time. Next is their 2009 album at number one, No Regrets. The tone on this album is amazing. Like, I don't know how they would have, I don't know how they got the guitar tone so hard hitting and weird and heavy and it's weird it, it is a weird guitar tone but it's a really good guitar tone and i've heard nothing like it before um this band is the reason why i got into dean guitars and why i like to play dean but i've never been able to get this tone i know this is a drop c album they did the whole recording in drop c and i've I've been on drop C with that guitar, and I do I do not know how to get that tone. I've I've tried everything. I've tried many different pedals. I've tried everything to replicate this tone, and I can't. Um, best ones off here: six six six, uh, six six six, audition or uh, addiction, featuring Zach Wild. Um, my funeral. We are. Violence. Best for me, Bloodless and Scorn. Bonus tracks are Rebel Yell, I Don't Give a Die, Boom, Bang, Burn, Fuck. Nothing for me here. Great tracks on here. Definitely a great album. Check this one out. It's definitely worth your time. And hopefully they release in the next coming year. But... Uh, I'm always open to listen to their albums. I'm always open to it. It's always a throwback to when times were shitty. Brings me back to that time. I feel just absolutely horrible when I listen to the music, but it's a bring back to the past. Um, so that's it. That's it for this video. Um, next one will be Nightwish. Um, and um, I'm still trying to come up with a beginner list for albums that beginners should check out before any other album. It's it. This is that list is really hard to do, and I've went through countless albums. I got a few that I have decided upon would be good to put out there. Like say, oh, new new people into the metal that want to get into metal, check these guys out. They're not like uh, the uh, really weird bands like uh Avenged Sevenfold and stuff I'm trying to avoid those like gateway bands I'm trying to like go in farther into the genre and see bands that are not as popular as let's say the big four I, I definitely would probably put some of the big four on the list but I'm trying to avoid that like I'm trying to voice I'm trying to put stuff on the list like Iced Earth, Blind Guardian, stuff like that it's more of like a power metal bass and have more of an edge to kind of kick the people right into the genre without giving them a some bullshit that's like 
like pop music. I don't I don't want to just give them a big kick into the metal genre with some we or yeah, I don't want to just give them a big kick in the metal genre and then they go check out another band and they sound oh they sound like nothing like Avenged Sevenfold. Nothing sounds like Avenged Sevenfold. Avenged Sevenfold is Avenged Sevenfold. Um a lot of people say Metallica has a lot of Metallica clones. Metallica's tones are all different on every single album that they've ever done. And it's funny to say that, but that that's a little bit of rant after this. I don't need to do the rant. Um, I'm just going to end the video here because I don't want to start another rant, so that's it.